Since World AIDS Day 2006, the United States government awarded 56 cooperative agreements to community and faith-based organizations through the New Partners Initiative. At the end of project meeting in January 2012, a selection of grantees and U.S. government representatives spoke to us about their experiences. Here is their story of innovation, partnership, and capacity building. When I started, I was a doctor. I was basically dealing with uh, treating patients. And then suddenly I was given the opportunity to be a program manager for PEPFA. So I was actually lost, because all I knew was to deal with patients, treat them, and the like. But when it comes to managing programs, I was at sea. I actually didn't know what to do. But uh, I was very happy that uh, when the NPI project came along, it came along with a, a capacity building component uh, to it, so that uh, I, as a project manager, was able to learn so much in terms of how to manage the program, uh, etc. So I, I can say that I was very happy uh, with the capacity building component of uh, the whole project. Uh, what I would say MPI has left behind at Amult is that MPI project has actually been a turnaround. It has been a historical milestone for our organization. It is one project that has actually brought in new positive changes. Uh, we have learned a lot from this project. We have acquired immense skills that were not there before and uh, it has helped us improve in all fronts and uh, actually open up very many new opportunities uh, to other donors. The many lessons that we learned is that um, learning, learning new things never stops about uh, development and about being open with our sub partners and also learning from them. We do not claim to know it all. There are things we learn from them, and there were many things they learned from us. What the NPI project and funding allowed us to do was to expand the programs enormously. Of course, along with it came a whole lot of government requirements and superstructure which we were not used to and had to learn to negotiate. It was a tough learning experience until we finally hit the right level of comprehension. and It enabled us to do a whole lot more than we could have done. My role at USAID is one of, I guess, support for the partners, trying to make sure that they have what they need to move forward with their grants, and working with the TA providers to some extent as well to make sure that they're doing uh, what needs to be done with the partners. They were great learning experiences for me. They got me to know the people involved in the organizations and understand a lot more about the organizations um, than I would have otherwise. These lessons and experiences enhanced grantee capacities to tap into existing networks, create new partnerships, and strengthen technical linkages. Oh, the things that helps us at the NP NPI to reach our objective. Uh, the project was very comprehensive, not just allocating the resources, but the package that came with it. Uh, there was part of resource allocation, there was part of capacity building, and there was part of coordination, which we think without that comprehensive approach, uh, the partners could not have reached that level because they would not uh, be able maybe to have the right skills, the right, the right knowledge. They did not have the know-how on how to go about the project, interacting with other partners, but the comprehensive approach uh, brought about a comprehensive package for our sub-grantees. In our strategy, we wanted to, to create very strong linkages at the local levels. That is between the 15 partner organizations and line ministries. Those are the ministries of health, ministry of education, and other national bodies responding to HIV and AIDS. So that has been very successful. As you are talking, all the 15 partners have very strong links with the Ministry of Education because of the ECD component. They have very strong links with the Ministry of Public Health. So they are rolling out a regular medical camp for the OVC in the ECD centers and the caregivers. So I think for us that's a very good legacy because these organizations that were not, were, not, were not working in partnership very closely with blind ministries. And so at the local level, we can at least say that those, those partnerships will, will be sustained. With the, with the government ministries, and for us that's a success. Uh, with uh, the experience from NPI support, we've started uh, 
aligning our programs with the, the government policies. We've had to be the more partnership with the Minister of Health and we've also involved the relevant uh, Department of Minister of Health in our own planning. We are now more proactive in participating in government programs, trying to articulate what we are able to do better, but also trying to take our experience from NPA support to strengthening government plans. So we believe that uh, we are now more positioned to work with the government, we are more positioned to contribute to national plans. For us to transition, we had to hold discussions with the government. We got the guidance and adopted the national guidelines on how to work with most at risk populations. That led to NOPE becoming part of the national technical working groups, contributing to the determination of how to work with MAPS in Kenya. And that's something that uh, we are proud of. But we've also engaged with the government at the various devolved levels, including a district health management teams that have contributed to the way our programs are designed to the extent that they've con uh, contributed to our programs through medical commodities that initially we were to procure with project funds. We established the hospice partners who are based mainly in the US and the Western countries but they work in collaboration with ELCT hospitals which are implementing palliative care and I think at the end of the day these they will manage to uh, bridge some funds um, to help them sail through um, even without um, uh, the significant funding we are getting from NPI. With positive transformational experiences, NPI grantees are confident of their future contribution to the HIV and AIDS response. There are such a diverse group of organizations. For me, it's been such a learning experience. Um, the unique histories of organizations before MPI, <laughs> um, the cultural differences and how the boards run. Just one organization has so many um, contributions to make in histories even within themselves. So just learning how different groups and different countries operate and do development work has probably been the most enriching part of the experience. Yeah. We are quite a new organization, but we have been growing rapidly. But you see, our systems and structures needed change. We do not have clearly defined the procurement and finance manuals, but now we have reorganized finance team and procurement team with clearly defined finance and procurement manuals. The legacy the NPI that is going to leave is the organizational transformation that we have had. We have had an experience of overhauling our m and &E system up to and including looking at our indicators looking at the ones we need and those that we do not need, looking at our data collection, actually developing our own data collection tools, going out there to the field with our sub-partners to train them on how to collect data, and most importantly, being able to make use of that data to be able to make some program decisions. We have been able to come up with a strategic plan. We use the only to have work plans developed based on an RFA in the newspapers. We are driven by wind. We know where we are heading, we know what we have planned, and we also know what we intend to achieve, subject to resource availability. And even when the resources are not available, we also know uh, the ways and means we can maneuver through in order to achieve at least part of what we have planned to achieve. This is my NPI celebrating success and looking to the future. Thank you.